Hey guys, do you want to create these sorts of grainy and graphic -y masterpieces in Blender? If you want to achieve these stylized look and apply them to your 3D animations and renders, pay attention to this tutorial as I will show you how. So I have a model of Wednesday here from the new Netflix show um, Wednesday. So let's click into render mode and let's add some lights so let's select a uh, point light just so we can see the shadows and the different faces of the model and to give it give it some atmosphere so let's go into the shadings tab and select the face we can start with the face we can add a voronoi texture node and a texture coordinate node and we can plug in the distance of the voronoi node to the base color of the principal bsdf and we can plug the camera node of the texture coordinate into the vector and let's increase the scale of the Voronoi texture node so that we get some noise and create that grain effect. And then we can add a shader to RGB node and also a color ramp. So the color ramp would allow us to control the threshold of the shadow as well as the light up part of the model and we can adjust the lighting again so that we can have a bit more of a contrast in lighting so yeah, if we bring the black arrow and the white arrow closer together in the color ramp there would be a higher contrast um, in terms of the shadow play around with it um, so that you get a effect that you like here we can click onto the arrows and control the color of the shadow as well as the lighter part of the face. It doesn't have to be black and white. Two different colors can give it a bit of a character. Here I'm trying to create a sinister look for Wednesday because she's kind of a psychopath, right? And then we can repeat the same step for other textures. You know, the lips, the face, the hair. The clothing as well. Here we can add some textures to the clothing because the iconic Wednesday dress is actually a black and white polka dot shirt. And here I add a Voronoi texture and plug the distance into a color ramp. And reduce the randomness to zero. Adjust the size so that we can see the polka dots. Put in a texture coordinate node, plug the UV node into the vector node of the Voronoi texture. Adjust the size of the Voronoi texture so that the dots are of the right size. And using the color ramp, we can adjust the size of the dots and their density. Here we can add a mapping node so that we can rotate the texture itself so that the polka dots are kind of in a slanted position. Now click on the arrow and invert the color so the dots should be white and the background of the clothing should be black. And to put in the shadow back into the texture we need to add a RGB mix node and plug the two into the RGB mix and change the mix to multiply 
so that the shadow is multiplied on top of the polka dot texture. Adjust the factor so that it's in the right balance. You can also adjust the color ramp of the shadow. We would add a rim light. We can add a light at the back of Wednesday. Change it into an area light and increase the power to almost like 500 watts so that it's like the brightest light in the scene because we want to try to get that silhouette lighting. Now click into the hair and duplicate the principal BSDF. Connect the Voronoi node to the second principal BSDF. And duplicate the color ramp and the shader to RGB node as well. So click on the arrows in the color ramp and make one of them white almost white or like a bright purple or whatever color you want uh, for the rim light and push the two arrows to the rightmost part so that we get a very distinct and contrasted rim light as you can see here it's good to make it as thin as possible and add a RGB mix node and set the mix mode to add. Remember to plug the rim light at color 2 and the shadow color ramp into color 1 so that the rim light is added on top of the shadow. Now we can create the outline to achieve a 2D graphic look. Add another material at the bottom and call it outline. At the shader workspace, we can delete the principal BSDF and add a RGB and put it as black. And we can add a solidify modifier at the modifiers tab. And we can change the normal to flip and the material offset will be 4 here because if we go to the texture tab we can see that the outline texture is offset by 4 and check the backface calling option and for the offset in the solidify modifier we should make it to 1 positive 1 and we can adjust the amount of ops offset so that it controls the thickness of the black outline. And yeah, we can see that there's a black outline that is overlaid on top of the model. And no matter how we rotate it, you know, the outline will be there. And we can do something similar for all the other objects as well, for the hair, for the color, And one important thing to note is that we should make sure the geometry has no flipped normals. So if we go to face orientation, we can see that you know the flipped normals are shown in red. So if we want to flip it back to the correct normals, we can select that geometry and then go to normals and click flip so that it becomes blue again which means the normal is facing the correct way and we can do the outline for the other geometries using the same method And when we are done, we can add a camera. Find a good angle and we can render it. 
If you find this tutorial interesting and informative, please subscribe to this channel and comment below what other tutorials you want to see. And as always, thanks for watching.